Hi, this is called God, Did I Love My Parents, Family, and Friends Too Much? Daily bullshit about politics and adults hating one another over politics and religion is so sad and tragic. I believe in God, but not like most Christians. I am thankful Christian faith did not cause me to commit suicide. Christian and Catholic faith made me afraid to be who I was as a child. And I did believe in God in my own way. If not, maybe I might have taken my life. Disabled and gay life people, uh, we should not be ashamed for who we are. Many people do not know how to handle me with my cerebral palsy and uh, being gay. Many are afraid of how society would react to me if they knew. It goes to show how people and how we are all screwed up and ashamed of ourselves when it comes to sexuality. Many people I have met over the last 25 years have lived uh, complicated lives because they did not want to hurt their family or friends. God, did I respect my parents, family, and friends too much in this life? Did I let it influence me in living my gay life t to the fullest? I love my dad a lot, but he talked to us like a captain in the army when he spoke, and we, expe we were expected res to respect and listen to him. If I shared my thoughts or opinions of love to him, it would often complicate our relationship. So it was often best to keep it light, like, John, I went to Safeway today and I bought some groceries. That kind of talk would bore me, though. Fifty years ago, at the age of 17, my dad said he would always make sure that I was looked after, and I told him, no, that would not be fair to you and mom, and you have your own life to live, and so do I. But then I regretted after saying that to him that I asked him the question if he ever had a disabled son, and that just tore him apart. And that's one of the regrets I have in this life of ever asking him that question. I was part of a rap group at church, and we were all responsible for all our own thoughts and feelings, and I thought it would be okay to ask him, but I should have never did that. And I hope in time he forgot about it. A few years later, my sister-in-law uh, got a letter from my dad, and she shared it a few years ago about how he was bragging about me and how proud he was. I wish he did that with me verbally and written, but he didn't. My dad was not stupid, and he knew kids were probably kids were probably giving me a hard time. Both my parents had to be able to smell cigarettes on me daily since I was in the seventh grade. My dad hid from me, and I hid from him. Up to seven or eight years old, I used to hug my dad and smooch him all over his face. Was that when my dad first knew that I was gay? One day I just stopped hugging and kissing him. I did not want him to think I was a sissy or weak. I always knew I was gay, but my dad worked for the American Can Company and he was raising 10 children. He had a lot of responsibility and I never wanted to hurt or shame him or our family. My mother, Mary traveled clear around the world to, pro to France before she was dying of bone cancer when I was two years old. I was never supposed to be able to walk and talk, and I've talked about this before. But I figured as a child, out of respect for love of my mother and her journey of pain, that this was part of my calling. Because after she left and she died six weeks later, I was able to walk and talk. Her journey and her faith might have saved me 
from committing suicide as a child for being gay because of what Christian and Catholic faith told me as a child. I ate great brothers and sisters too. I never wanted to hurt them because I was gay. I also had friends who were kind to me and some were Christians and I did not want to hurt them. God was the only one who understood my hurt and my pain. The last 25 years, I have met people with double lives all over the world because they do not want to hurt their family or loved ones. My dad passed away when I was 42 years old. And, uh, but uh, I never talked about it and then about being gay, but then I started writing about it when I was 42 and got my first computer. At the age of 50, I taught at the Universal Unitarian Church in Fresno, California, 17 years ago, and that was a big deal. Did I love and respect my parents too much? My stepmother taught me what love was, and she taught me how to fly. I have never tried to hurt or offend anybody in this life, but ESP, extrasensory perception, I have always been able to feel when people were happy or sad intensely. This started when I was five years old and my hands closed up on me. I have always felt that was my calling from God to try to make others happy when I felt they were sad. If I could live my life over, I probably would do the same thing over again. I am not a Bible freak. But I have always tried to honor my father and my mother and my mom on a spiritual level. Some people thought my dad should have spent more time with me and I would jump all over them if they ever put my dad or family down. Family has always been number one to me. Our family was not perfect, but our family is and I am lucky to have had my family and my friends in this life. Cerebral palsy was, uh, was never my disability. Being gay was my disability. And I often do feel that I still don't fit in or belong in this world. That's why I do what I do to try to educate people. Also, if the virus does get me, I would like people to know and understand why I try to do what I do. Life is a trip, and I hope I grow and learn until the day I die.